What's good, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm bringing you all another MLB The Show 21 Diamond Dynasty video. And in this video, it is time to update all my top 10 rankings list. We have new finest cards in the game, new postseason cards in the game since the last time I made this rankings list. So a lot of things are going to be changing from the last variation of all the rankings. I will be dropping the top 10 the rest of this week, probably into next week as well. Also going to be doing the best team in Diamond Dynasty, best player at every single position. But today, we are talking the top 10 shortstops in the game. And one one more thing if you do become a member to the channel and you do get the MVP cost status you will receive weekly top 10 rankings for every single position and you will be getting those earlier than the videos actually come out so the top 10 for every single position this week will be coming out on Saturday so you're probably going to get a number of positions before they're up on YouTube so if you want to become a member click the join button down below but like I said today we are talking the top 10 shortstops in the game so make sure to make your predictions for who you think is the best shortstop in the game right now if you're excited for this one do me a favor hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you're new i would greatly appreciate it can we get 100 likes on this video but without further ado hope you enjoy the video and let's get it minica watch me on twitch oh i'm streaming i'm on youtube subscribe to the channel red button beaming let's get that sub count take over youtube oh we teaming my content so how oh yeah i'm steaming oh yeah i'm steaming red button beaming Okay, everyone, I am here back on MLB The Show 21 Diamond Dynasty, and today we are talking the top 10 shortstops in the game right now. And at this point in the year, like I said in the intro, there are so many great options at every single position in the game. We don't know how much more content we are going to be getting in the game. So this could be the last shortstops ranking or the last top 10 for every single position of the year. We will have to see. We are getting a 10th inning program, maybe some more BR cards, World Series cards, so we will have to see. And at this point in the year with all these great cards it really is personal preference of which cards you want to use the 10th card on this list is still a great shortstop in the game and that is going to be a theme going forward at the end of the day use cards on your team that you really like because it is your team at the end of the day these are just my opinion so if you agree or disagree with me that is completely okay but let's get into it at number 10 to get us started we have the 98 overall new finest willie adamas and i believe this card came out in the set one finest pack if you are getting started at this point in the year and you need a budget shortstop for your team that is really really good this willie adamas is only 10k on the market he has good contact good power good fielding good speed he is a good card all around he doesn't really stand out anywhere doesn't have great contact great power fielding or speed compared to some of the other cards on this list but for 10k on the market you cannot go wrong with this willie adamas they did a great job with all the finest hitters in the game and this card is really really good at number nine we have the 99 wander franco card now i'm going to take this card over willie adamas because he is a switch hitting bat he has solid contact especially against righties for those higher difficulties hall of fame and legend you always prefer switch hitters over righties or lefties because they're always at an advantage at the plate and he has 119 contact against righties his power is a little low though for this point in the year only 96 against righties and 86 against lefties that's going to hold him back from being higher up on the list but he's a really good fielder with really solid fielding to go with it 89 fielding 94 arm 92 arm accuracy and 88 racks and with 86 speed 66 steal this card is really really good still at this point in the year but unfortunately 100k on the market don't think he's worth it especially with better free options higher up on the list at number eight i have the 99 overall honus wagner now this card has great contact great fielding stats and great speed but the reason why he's at number eight and not higher up on the list is because of his power only 91 against righties and 92 against lefties and i've used this card numerous times in game he just does not have much pop at the plate in game for some reason he's not great at the plate and for that reason can't put him higher up on the list even with the great fielding great speed and the great contact stats because it's all about how you play in game the stats could say whatever they want but in my opinion he's just not that good in game at number seven i have the 99 francisco lindor in my opinion a better wander franco card also a switch hitting bat with better power 100 against righties 92 against lefties also better than wander in the field with that 97 fielding and 99 reaction time give him the power low too and then is 99 fielding and reaction time his speed is pretty solid it's not great for a shortstop like trey turner honus wagner but 74 speed 65 steel is pretty pretty solid and 59 bag aggressiveness also has solid content to go with that good power 103 against righties 115 against lefties but his power isn't outstanding contact isn't crazy the fielding's really good and the speed like i said is solid but there are better options than francisco lindor but if you want to pick him up he's 220k on the market at number six we have the 98 overall trey turner and this car was the best 
shortstop in Diamond Dynasty for months. This card was great when he came out in Team Affinity Season 3. And honestly, still at this point in the year, he gets it done at the plate. 114 contest against righties, 125 against lefties. So really solid contact numbers. And then at the plate, his power numbers on paper would say he's not great at the plate when it comes to hitting the ball over the fence. 103 against righties, 89 against lefties. But in game, he plays way above the stats. I feel like his power is really like 115 plus against righties and lefties. I have so many home runs with this Trey Turner card on Hall of Fame and on Legend, but the reason why I can't put him higher up on the list is because there are other shortstops in this game right now with TA5 with the finest packs in general that have those hitting numbers and can hit really well in game that are way better than Trey Turner in the field with that 76 fielding, 77 arm, 74 arm accuracy, and 74 reacts time in my opinion. Just too much of a liability to have him as my starting shortstop right now in the game but 99 speed 96 still if you want use this Trey Turner at the second baseman position I think that's where he plays best Trey Turner was one of my favorite cards the entire year and he still is a solid card in this game if you want to pick him up he's in the NL East team affinity season three before I get into my top five shortstops in the game right now if you're enjoying the video and you're finding it useful do me a favor hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you're new I would greatly appreciate it make sure to go check out the first video that I dropped earlier today with the 99 finest Kyle Tucker and the 99 finest Salvador Perez use them in a gameplay video against Twitch viewers it was a really fun video make sure to go check that one out but let's get back into it to get my top five started at number five we have the 99 overall finest Bo Bichette now this card has great contact numbers 112 against righties 125 against lefties 103 power against righties 111 against lefties so great contact numbers good power numbers a super smooth swing one of the best swings at the position but his fielding stats are in the 80s but in game he has made numerous errors for me at the short shortstop position so I'm not really liking him at the actual shortstop position I have used him at second base he has been better but as a primary shortstop he's a little bit of a liability in the field 83 fielding 80 arm 87 arm accuracy 86 reaction time the stats would say he's not bad in the field but he's made numerous errors for me in the few games that he's played he also has 74 speed 80 still. so the speed is pretty solid great contact numbers like I said really good power numbers as well with a smooth swing but the fielding stats gonna hold him back from being higher up on the list if you want to pick him up if you still have find a set one packs you can get him in that or he's on the market for 60k at number four we have the 99 overall brandon crawford a lefty bat that absolutely crushes righty arms and the best pitchers in this game are still righties he has 123 contact against righties 110 against lefties 105 contact against lefties 108 power against lefties good vision good discipline good clutchness he is a stud in the field with that 99 fielding 99 reacts time he has a solid enough arm for the shortstop position 85 arm 91 arm accuracy unfortunately though really really slow for a shortstop 38 speed 43 still not going to get it done in my opinion that holds him back a little bit from being higher up on the list but great at the plate he is excellent in the fields and has some solid quirks as well situational hitter first pitch hitter breaking ball hitter use him in the day as well because he plays better in day games a lot of these finest cards have really really useful quirks so definitely check those out if you're using a lot of finest cards but this Brandon Crawford you can get right now in the NL West team of Fanny season five at number three we have the 99 overall Carlos Correa now this card is definitely solid at the plate but there is no one better than him in the field at the shortstop position 95 fielding is his worst fielding stat has a 99 arm one of the best arms at the position 99 arm accuracy and 99 reaction time 61 speed not the fastest for a shortstop it'll definitely get the job done though but his contact and power stats are solid as well like i said he is a good hitter with excellent fielding solid swing 108 contact against righties 117 contact against lefties 115 power against righties 104 against lefties the vision is there the discipline is there and he also has a lot of quirks like i said with the brandon crawford card a lot of these finest cards have great quirks this card has cannon that helps his 99 arm he's gonna make it every play at the shortstop position his arm is probably the best at the position probably not one of the best probably the best he has quick reflexes a lot of great defensive quirks and he also has some solid hitting quirks as well this card really really good if you want to pick up carlos correa's 80k on the market or you can get him in the finest set two pack at number two we have the nine 99 overall 2020 postseason Corey Seager card. Now, I love this Corey Seager at the plate. In my opinion, a top two hitter as well as being a top two shortstop in the game right now. Great contact stats against both sides. 
118 against righties, 120 against lefties. He's a lefty bat that destroys righty arms, 113 power against righties, 122 against lefties. Also solid against lefties, though. His stats against lefties are actually better than his stats against righties. I, for one, though, don't like lefty-lefty matchups, so I still won't be that good with him against a lefty than I would against righties, even though he does have better stats against a lefty arm. And he's solid enough in the field. His arm worries me a little bit, but you get him the parallel five. That's 90 fielding, 75 arm, 90 arm accuracy, and 95 reacts time. A little slow for my liking as well. If you want to go Correa here at two, I'm cool with that. But I like Corey Seager better at the plate, and he hasn't made a lot of errors for me in the field. And he has way better hitting quirks than Carlos Correa did. He has day player. He has situational hitter. And he also has some solid defensive quirks as well. So he's better in the field than his stats would actually show. If you want to pick up this Corey Seager, you have to collect the postseason collection. And last but certainly not least, the number one shortstop in the game. And I don't think there's any debate on this. Don't think anybody would argue anybody to be over number one overall. Fernando Tatis Jr. Not only the best shortstop in the game. Can he be the best card in the game? Definitely top three in my opinion. This card can do it all. Max power against righties and lefties. You knew as the cover boy of MLB The Show 21. They were going to juice this card. 125 power against righties and lefties. Solid contact numbers. 110 against righties. 116 against lefties. The fielding stats are outstanding. 95 fielding. 99 arm. 72 arm accuracy and 95 reacts time and he also has 95 speed 94 steel you get this card at parallel five that'll be 115 contact against righties 121 against lefties max power once again 99 fielding arm and reaction time with 99 speed 99 steel and 95 bag aggressiveness it can't get much better at the position than this fernando Tatis jr also has a crazy amount of quirks that i definitely recommend that you guys check out this is by far in my opinion the best shortstop in the game right Right now, if you want to pick up Tatis, which I definitely recommend you do, go get him in the NL West Team Affinity Season 5. Okay, everyone, that's going to do it for the video today. My updated top 10 shortstops rankings list. Now, I don't know, like I said before, if this is going to be the final rankings list for every single position that I will be releasing over the next couple days, probably into next week as well. But we will see if they drop more cards. Maybe I'll update it one more time before the end of the year. We will have to see. But if you enjoyed this video and you found it useful, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. I'll would greatly appreciate it and make sure to follow me at my social links which are on the screen for you all right now including my twitter tiktok instagram twitch stuff like that but that's gonna do for me today everyone i will see you all in the next video have a great rest of your day peace out